Hello dreamers! Long time no see and I mean that literally. It's been about four years since I posted a video. But it's been four years here on the JET program and I decided that before I packed up a lot of the stuff in my apartment I wanted to make a uh, what my apartment looks like after four years video. I just finished re-watching my original video and it was pretty funny to watch myself walk around my very empty um, apartment and just think about how much stuff I accumulated over four years and how many memories have come and gone in that time. At the end of my original video, I said something like, the JET program is an amazing experience and you should apply. and. I still agree with that statement and now I can actually back up uh, that statement and say the JET program for sure changed my life. I originally thought I'd only be here two years. For much to my family's chagrin, I stayed a third and a fourth year and I may be here for life um, as the next chapter of my life will begin in a new city and a different apartment. Um, but this will be my last f few months here on the JET program, but I'm actually shipping most of my stuff away before that. So this is filmed a little bit before the end, but I do want to share some of my tips and wisdom. Now, let's do a what my apartment looks like now. So four years ago, I showed you my baby. Uh, she's a little bit dirtier and she's a little bit worse for the wear. She's uh, scratched the few sides of the road a few times, but she's still in good condition. She's still my car. I've paid Shaken or insurance on her twice. Um, this <laughs> was the overgrown hedge in the original video. It gets cut down. There's still a bunch of feral cats but they got covered up by this house, which used to be a field. Actually, my landlord's son lives here. And now the apartment next door to me actually has another ALT. So let's go upstairs. There's the other ALT. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you filming? Yes. <laughs> We come into the Ginkan with now lots of jackets and lots of shoes. Um, I've never used slippers in this house, so never did that. Here is the original closet, uh, which was empty basically in the original video, but now has who knows how many pairs of shoes and board games and tools and lots of bug killers. So many bug killers. Uh, when you turn right, well actually, when you come in the Genkan, we now have artwork, things that I've made or found. This is from sort of a collection of Buddhist temples that you go around in Tokyo. I made this in Tokyo as well. This is a ukiyo-e print and I got this in Kyoto uh, at one of the kimono making places. Um, my bathroom has gotten certainly a little bit more messy. Um, <laughs> had to add storage into my bathroom and pictures and rugs. So that's gotten better. And I've added drawing racks and shelving and gotten a scale and all that stuff. Hello. <laughs> Uh, I have lots of guests. I joined something called Tatami Timeshare, which works kind of like a timeshare or Airbnb program for jets. So I've added some privacy curtains. Uh, if we turn this way, we get the kitchen again. As you can see, my recycling area uh, expanded pretty greatly here. We've got lots of recycling. <laughs> and I definitely added furniture uh, here. This was a couch originally from my predecessor, but I got a table. This table has saved my life and made parties really great. It expands, so I have so much more counter space. And I added 
areas for hot water boilers and rice and the rice cooker, coffee maker, microwave, storage, more storage. Um, my mother sent me this lovely uh, window and yeah, without this storage, I wouldn't have made it. Original curtains, much dirtier <laughs> kitchen area than it was all those years ago and just many more things. My refrigerator held out all these years. I have a conversion chart here for grams to ounces and everything else. And then we have the living room, which has the original kotatsu, but I got lots of chairs and couches. Uh, and I also got a pet. This is my pet Uparupa, which is an axolotl in English. There he is. Hi, Munch. Say hi. So I got this Upalupa only about a year ago now, so pretty new addition, but upgraded my TV um, and all of that stuff. The balcony hasn't changed, so we'll skip that. And then in here is my bedroom, which is basically the same, but you can see I greatly expanded the what I've done. It started out here. This is the original welcome card from my landlord, and it goes around and across and then back up and back down and actually only covers about three years because I ran out of space, <laughs> so the rest is in a box. I shipped my sewing machines from America. I got a bigger bedside table. I got many more shelving units, which now sit in my uh, closet here. Lots more in my closet than I used to have. And yeah, basically just a lot more storage. I actually hung the mirror and I got myself a loose sock finding device. You can see the house hasn't really changed that much. I definitely got a lot more furniture and um, different things, some of which I'll take with me and some I'll leave for the next person. But I could say that I love this apartment. My landlord turned out to be one of the most interesting people. He has a party room in another apartment building and he often does yakiniku or like barbecue for us. And uh, after a year, the new ALT decided to change apartments and she moved in next to me. She then changed again, but the new ALT, uh, she's one of my best friends now. And another ALT, because my city expanded by one person, uh, actually lives across the street. So we have a little community. And I can say that I think it's much harder for ALTs who don't have a community close to hang out with to make it past one or two years. Um, but if you are afraid of that and you do end up in the deep countryside, the deep Inaka, um, I do recommend that you find a way to get a community because once you have a community of people staying on this program is so easy. But if you don't have a community um, of people close or far that you can visit with or play D&D &D or whatever you do, um, having that community really helps, uh, especially if you don't speak a lot of Japanese. Uh, they made my life here completely different. If I hadn't had my sort of support system in the beginning until I made other friends and stuff, I wouldn't have done very well. And because of that support system, uh, in my third year, I became the regional advisor for my greater area and one of many. And that sort of let me spread that type of feeling to other people and make sure they were included so the longer you stay on this program, the more chances and opportunities you'll have to enrich yourself and meet other people. And so I suggest staying more than two years. You not only gain back your original financial down payment into the program, but you start to really feel enriched by the culture and the people. And I can say that JET is one of the most interesting programs. If you don't come on JET, you come on Interact. I've met Interact JETs as well, any program, but just coming to live abroad and 
if you put in the effort to experience the culture, you never know who you'll meet. Um, and it may change your life. So I encourage anybody to live abroad in any country, but Japan is a great country. Um, people talk about some things like foreigner phobia or discrimination and those things exist, but if you have a positive attitude, it won't affect you. And those are the most important things for coming here is being able to adapt and experience and being positive because everyone here will try to be nice to you as long as you're nice as well, right? Treat others how you want to be treated. That applies in any culture and it applies so much here. So I hope you look forward to my future videos and that's all for now. See you later dreamers. Thanks for watching my four year update on how my life in Japan went. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there's more content to come on this channel. So please give the video a thumbs up if you want to know what changed my life and what my next adventure is. And please also subscribe to the channel so that you get updates about what I'm going to be doing in my new life here in Japan. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, check out my other videos and keep dreaming dreamers.